have a lot of initiative. So we are trying to have a lot of initiatives and we wanted you know your guys opinion on you know whether you like this or what's your idea of feedback so that you know we end up you know adding more better services and products to our community. So with this uh, let me just start by you know showing a small video uh, showing showing a small video to all of you. So just be on land. So this video is about 30 years old and uh, let me play this uh, video. Can you all um, see this uh, video? Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. can you see, uh, can you uh, hear the sound? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, how many of you recall this uh, video which was, you know, introduced in 1990s and it's a very nostalgic video. And Nobody have can some... forget, yeah. yeah. Nobody can forget. Yeah. Yes. So, let me just share one more video. Let me just uh, share one more video. And coincidentally, this video was uh, just introduced two days back. And uh, this is quite interesting. And I wanted to connect what I exactly wanted to share for today. This is a video which was uh, just introduced just two days back. You can see 17 September, just yesterday. <laughs> nice video, right? <laughs> so, I wanted to connect this video with uh, our today's presentation. So, 30 years back, you know, uh, 30 years back, just a minute. Just a minute. So 30 years back, you know, there was a video by Catrice and which was talking about, you know, a good nostalgic video. And then now everything remains the same. The only thing is that, you know, the audience have been shifted. The person who was actually smiling uh, and eating Catrice dairy milk is now, you know, hand, holding the bat and the person who was cheering is now, uh, the person who was uh, batting has now got into the audience. So things have changed, you know, from last 30 years, a lot of things have been, the game of cricket has remained same, but things have changed. So when things change, I think, you know, when those things also happen, I think we also need to look, me as an organization, I also need to look in a very different way. And I need to think that what changes that I should be bringing to, you know, investment portfolios. You know, 30 years back, we were all investing in LIC and uh, some real estate and now, these days we are investing in mutual funds. But all this is fine. But going forward in the next 15, 20 years, I need to think what's going to catch up and what's going to come. And based on that, I need to introduce you know, some of the products to all of you to showcase you. you know, these are some of the investment options that we think that we should be bringing to you. And I wanted your opinion on all these things. So with this, let me share my screen and um, uh, start the agenda. So today we will be talking on these things that currently we have all these core elements in your portfolio that's mutual funds, health insurance, term cover and some other investment products. Now we wanted to add more diversity to your investments through some exciting new age investment options such as you know, international investments, 
investments in startups, P2P investing. So I'm going to showcase you how exactly this works and then finally I'll be getting your opinion. So we would like to take your opinion on these via polls and general feedbacks during the course of this meeting. We are also planning to develop an app. We need your suggestions and inputs and any other general feedback which would help us to um, give you better service and advice. So this is how a general financial pyramid looks like and we have built this for you. This is your financial pyramid. At the base of your pyramid, you know, we have a term insurance for you, health insurance, if you have your EPF, PPF and diversified mutual funds. So this, we have already covered this for you. So there's nothing that you need to do. These are all must have in anybody's portfolio. Now, once we have done this, as you keep creating wealth, as you, as you keep earning money, we wanted to introduce some three new exciting investment options and wanted to have your opinion. The first one is P2P investments. I'll explain in detail what is this. International investments, like you know, buying shares of Amazon, Google, Facebook, and you know, you becoming shareholders of these you know, tech giants and other companies in the US. The third one is investment in startups, wherein you know you are going to invest in the next Infosys or the next Zomato or the next uh, you know, ITC or something like that. So with this, these investments come at the top of the pyramid, where in case even if something don't work out here, your base does not get up. So on that basis, let me first explain you what exactly we'll start with P2P investments. So P2P investments is a concept where there are new age platforms who have been, you know, which has been introduced where these platforms connects the lenders with borrowers. Now, I'm talking about you as lenders, you have money and there are borrowers who needs money. There are platforms which have been developed who connects, you know, you the lender with the borrower, wherein, you know, you invest and then these borrowers, you know, receive your money and then you get some certain return. So here I'm talking in specific a company called Liquid Loans. Some of you have already invested in these Liquid Loans. Basically, how does this work is that it's a pool lending platform where the money is put in by investors and it is lent out to small retail investors to the general public through various agencies. How this works, I'll let me just tell you. Example, let's say there's someone sitting and then he wants to enroll for an education course with an academy. So what does this guy do? He goes to an academy and he subscribes for a course. An academy says about one lakh rupees for a course. Now this guy doesn't have money. So what does this guy do? The uh, an academy goes and introduces this guy to Liquid Loans, and then Liquid Loans, you know, checks his profile. They check they they check their KYC, they check their civil score, and then they offer this guy a loan of one lakh. They would not they would not offer one lakh. In specific, they would pay eighty thousand rupees to an academy. And then this guy will be paying about 10,000 rupees for 10 months to this liquid loan. So liquid loan makes a profit of 20,000 rupees. An academy got 80,000 rupees. A liquid loan got his profit of 20,000. So who funds this liquid loan? People, people like you can go and fund liquid loans and minimum investment is 5,000, maximum investment is 10 lakh rupees. The rate of interest is about Eight and a half to nine and a half percentage per annum, and interest payout is monthly payout. You have different options where you know you can have zero holding period. That means you can withdraw any point in time, like a liquid funds, three month lock in, six month, twelve month, twenty four and thirty six months. So based on what lock in you choose, this is the rate of interest. There's a good concept we have been doing from the last two and a half years. Uh, you know, across about you know, 20 clients that we started off and we thought, now since we are convinced, we thought we flinched. The taxation is that it's it acts similar to an FD. It gets added to your income and tax slab. So if your rate of return is 9% and if you're in 30% slab, you get 6% push tax. Withdrawal options, you know, like if it's a zero month holding, you can withdraw anytime without penalty. Specific holding, you can withdraw only about it. Let's say you say that you want to invest for 12 months, you have to hold this for 12 months. 
So this is about the first investment option which I'm talking about. These are becoming very popular and these are about uh, at the top of the financial pyramid which I spoke about. I would like to run a poll here that what do you think about this option? Do you think this option is worthwhile for you? And uh, uh, do you think you know this would add any value to you? Of course, this is not a replacement for individual bonds. This comes over and about the mutual bonds. So let me just uh, uh, start with the first. Dipesh uh, Dipesh, uh, quick yeah. question uh, yeah. over here. Yeah. Uh, who takes the risk of delinquencies? Uh, I will talk in detail. So basically, the risk is basically borne by the P2P company. Uh, the risk is borne by P2P companies. And uh, hence, this is like this works like a bank FD. Let's say tomorrow, if there is, uh, the return does not come in, then the first level of risk is borne by the P2P companies. And the balance risk, of course, is on the investor, which I will talk in detail. So, my first question to all of you is that, you know, just put it in your chat box whether, you know, does this product sound, you know, reasonable enough for you to consider? I'm not going to come and call you and ask you to invest, don't worry. I just want your opinion uh, in uh, subscribe products. Please put all these things in your uh, in the chat box, and then once we end this uh, this thing, we will have a look at the. I am not sure why the poll is not working, but uh, in fact, I we had designed a poll, but I don't know why this poll is not uh, uh, working. Sure, Dipeshi, one question: yeah. uh, Is it controlled by uh, uh, like SEBI or any of yes. these? Uh, Yes, yes, it is actually regulated by RBI. So I haven't mentioned here, this has been regulated by RBI. Because this is into lending, this has been regulated by RBI. Is it something sounding similar to the chit, you know, the old uh, old fashioned chit? Uh... Uh, no, sir, this is, this is slightly different here. This is not exactly with respect to chit. But here, lenders and borrowers, the platform has been, you know, created where, you know, the platform you know, you know, brings borrower on the platform, bring lenders on the platform. So the platform, you know, helps borrowers and you know lenders to meet. It's a marketplace. You give money to the platform. The platform goes and lends. Money. And if somebody defaults, let's say if this guy, this uh, uh, guy, you know, who has taken the course from an academy doesn't pay, the first risk is going to the platform, and then the rest of the result. Investors, till now there hasn't been any such uh, default as anything as such. The NP, a non performing asset, is about one and a half percentage. So, please put your uh, chat option, you know, your opinions in the chat. We would like to you know, know, it's, you know, know what exactly, how do you feel, and uh, what exactly you, know, you feel about this. You can write whatever you would like to uh, comment. Yeah, we'll just take uh, 10 more seconds. Maybe, you know, some people who haven't responded can put it in the chat option. So the idea here is, you know, we wanted your opinion and hence uh, this uh, meeting has been organized. Okay. So let me just move on to the next option which I'm considering. So the next option that I'm talking about is uh, international investments. When I say international investment, it's outside India. Now, there are two ways to invest outside India. One is the mutual fund. And this, how this happens is that Indian mutual funds goes and invest in mutual funds which are outside India. And that holds, you know, international interest. So there is an Indian mutual fund. So you write a check in this Indian mutual fund name. This Indian mutual fund goes and let's say invest in JP Morgan, JP Morgan, you know, you know mutual fund which is listed in US. JP Morgan goes and buys the stocks of you know Google, Amazon, Pay, you know, Facebook, and you know, things like that. And whatever returns the stocks generate that are passed on back to JP Morgan, JP Morgan passes back to investor. Uh, mutual fund, uh, Indian mutual fund, Indian mutual fund passes passes this back to you. And we are already implemented this in some of the portfolios where the profile match. This is one way of doing it. Now, the next other way, and a different way of doing this is you know, buying in directly buying international stocks. 
wherein you don't take any major fund out. You directly buy stocks. You there is a demat account that gets opened in your name in the US from here. So this is based in US. We at Happy Investor will facilitate this for you and make all the suggestions and purchases for you. You have a lot of choice of making these investments. So here you just give money to Indian mutual fund. This mutual fund goes and buys different stocks. Here you can select you want to buy stocks of Netflix, you can buy. You can buy, want to buy the stocks of Google, you can buy Tesla, you know, Adidas, Louis Vuitton, Nike, you know, whatever you want, you can buy. Let me just tell more on this part. Hold on. Now, how this works is this international investments. The buying happens into direct stocks or companies in US markets via DMAT on based in US. There's no minimum value for purchases. The maximum that one person can do is about 2.5 lakh dollars. That's approximately 1.9 crore rupees. That's per annum. This is as per RBI LRS group. The returns are as per market performance. So if Google does well, you know, your stock will go up. If Google don't do well, your stock will not do well. Taxation is like profit taxed as capital gain indexation, like a debt fund. So like how you have a debt fund. Similarly, that indexation can happen. There is a high level of compliance as per rules and regulations. So your compliance is slightly higher here because you are transferring money outside and the FEMA regulations all those things come up. The cost to you know, transact is there are two types of options where you know if you are trading regularly then you pay five thousand per annum and then you know you can buy as many shares that you want sell as many shares that you want. If you are not a regular investor then for each share it will cost you rupees two. Let's say you wanted to buy one Facebook share then you know the brokerage cost is about two rupees per share. That's the cost. But on withdrawal, 15 to 20 dollars is cost, is charged on every withdrawal. This is what the US, the broker in US charges. So let's say you have invested some money and then after five years you want to withdraw. That on every withdrawal, you say about 20 dollars is charged, that's about 1,500 rupees. If the investment is above 7 lakh rupees, then 5% TCS is applied. TCS is like your TDS. Which can be claimed as a tax credit. The SIP mode is possible. Our suggested exposure should be 10% of your total financial assets. So, if your mutual fund is about, let's say, one crore rupees, then we would suggest not more than not more than 10 lakh rupees should be. What are the advantages? You can buy fractional share of uh, fractional purchase of shares. Let me give you an example. Um, Berkshire Hathaway, one share cost. 4 lakh dollar. That means, you know, this is this cost you about 3 crore rupees per share. Now, you know, we all don't have, you know, 3 crore rupees. Or even if you have, we can't put 3 crore in a single share. Through this, you can buy 0 0.0001, you know, share of Berkshire Hathaway. This is the advantage you get. It's highly liquid anytime you can withdraw. You want to withdraw today, Monday you will get the money in your bank account. There are three investment options. You can buy some specific ETF, exchange traded funds. There are a basket of stocks that you know we can recommend and you can buy. You can also buy your individual stocks as, you know, as per your own uh, recommendations and research. When I say ETF, you know, there are a lot of, you know, in US has a lot of specific things you know, that you, know, you have a concept where, you know, you can invest in cloud computing companies, you know, robo, you know, robotic companies, you know, nanotechnology companies. You, know, you can choose some specific sector or themes and then buy those, buy all those companies which are engaged in that. That is your uh, you know, kind of a you know, thematic idea. Basket of stocks, you, know, you can have you know, something on consumer technology, uh, you know, IT. Uh, and pharma. So this basket of stack stocks can be recommended. And individual stocks can be bought. So these are the advantages. Disadvantage is that you know, dollar rate conversion happens. If the dollar is 75 today, you have to pay about 100% to your banker to convert this dollar into, you know, to rupee into dollar. So you will end up investing at 76.5. And then on every investment that you do, the your bank will charge 800 to 1000 per transaction. Per transaction, let's say if you want to spend thousand dollars, which about which is about seventy five thousand rupees, seventy five thousand rupees, then the bank will charge you this, you know, this much of money. 
irrespective of whatever amount that you spend. So, you know, we are, con you know, before we take up licenses and, you know, do all this compliance work, of course, we are doing all these things, you know, to give an add-on product in your portfolio. We want your opinion on, you know, how does this sound, you know, will you be interested to explore? I have given you the advantages, shown you the disadvantages and um, things like that. So I wanted your opinion on how do you view this as an investment product for your long term? Hipesh, can you ro roll one slide up, please? Yes. So when I'm reading the second point on the on the left hand side, you know, buying into direct stocks of companies in the US market, where huh. DMAT huh. is based in the US. Yes. So I work for Microsoft. I already hold some stocks with Microsoft. I huh. already have a DMAT account based in the US. Hmm. Can I use that account to invest? Yes. Okay, Chirag, I will get back to you on this. I think probably not because we are tying up with a large broker in US. Got it, got it. If your broker and the broker which I am tying are the same, then yes. If not, then um, I don't think that would be possible. So Microsoft has got only two brokers, obviously, you know, uh, that's, that's got Charles it. Swap, I guess, one, yes. I think so one is Fidelity and the other one is uh, Morgan Stanley. Ah, okay, then no, no, no. We are, so, we are in, planning to partner with a broker called uh, Drive Wealth. Right. So, in it, I mean, let's say if I were to explore this option, I will have two DMAT accounts. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, we wanted your opinion on uh, this. Can you all just put uh, on uh, uh, Deepesh, on the uh, one more point from my side. Can I? Yeah, please. please. Asha, Divish, I just want to know, uh, uh, let's say we talk about the top three, four technology companies like Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Facebook and um, yes, what yes. Google and all that. Uh, what's the sort of returns, average returns just in the last two, three years? Just to understand, because we have never thought about an international event from my perspective, at least. Okay. Okay. So just to give you an example, uh, Tesla gives 700% return in the last one year. 700% return in the last one year. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Facebook gives around 300, 350% return in the last two years. Last? Two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the whole tech stocks are, you know, on fire in the US because of, you know, pandemic and work from home. But, you know, I am not specifically talking, you know, about tech stock. I am talking in general. So the idea here is, you know, you can buy any stock, not only restricted to the best performing stock. But returns have been phenomenal uh, with these uh, companies. Uh, so as soon as the process is concerned, you have highlighted two, three points. Can you go to that slide, the slide where you show us, huh? so where you show those uh, five, okay, charges is one part, that 15 to $20 for each withdrawal. So is yes. that a clause done by the government of India for some? No, uh, no, 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 no. This is what the US broker will charge okay. for, uh, you know, with, withdrawal. Okay. The US broker, and this is true across all the US brokers. Somebody would charge you 19, somebody would charge you 21, somebody would charge you 15. I'm just giving you a rough ballpark uh, number. How popular has been this mode of investments uh, among uh, uh, mid tier segment like us? Uh, you must have all heard about Robin Hood. It's an app in US. You know, uh -huh. they, revolutionized, they revolutionized this. We are trying to bring similar one in India. We in India, of course, you know there are few apps which are already offering. Which are already offering, uh, and you know they're doing. It. And we wanted to bring this to all of you. As you saw that Dairy Milk ad, that you know you have to be ahead of the curve. We are trying to you know bring all these options. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So please uh, put your opinions, suggestions, feedbacks on the chat. If you like this, then you just put yes, this is a great thing. I would like to explore. Uh, if you don't one doubt from my side. Yes. So you have uh, mentioned the advantages and disadvantages of direct stock buying, right? Yes. Now, yes. when we do through uh, broker side, the first route, okay, are hmm. we mitigating all the disadvantages mentioned here? I mean, both the disadvantages mentioned here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, your question is that, you know, when we go through a broker, are these the only disadvantage? Are there any other disadvantage you're asking, right? Ah, correct. 
yes, I'm comparing this advantage disadvantages of this with, you know, a mutual fund route, wherein in a mutual fund, you don't, you know, in, in a mutual fund, you know, you don't have this issue of dollar transfer. You don't pay this, you know, you only, you know, invest in a mutual fund, that mutual fund, because it invests lacks of dollars outside India, you know, the fractional, you know, the conversion rate is just, you know, one paisa or two paisa on account every dollar. So that's the advantage you get on economies of scale by mutual funds. These are this, this. But the disadvantage is that, you know, you can't buy any fractional shares. You have to just hold what the mutual fund is holding. And, Understood. you know, you can't have a specific basket like, you know, you want to invest all in all the cloud computing companies of US, all the, you know, you know, plant meat based companies in US, metaverse. So, you know, you can't you know, select all these themes uh, when you're investing in mutual funds. So this and mutual fund go in complement. They are not competitor to each other. They can go hand in hand. Okay. Yeah. Deepesh. Uh, yes. Deepesh and others, good morning. Yeah. Uh, just one question. Yeah. See, uh, let's say if, uh, the members open account in uh, US uh -huh. and uh, one fine morning, the US government says, no, all uh, non-US accounts uh, be frozen. So what protection we have there? See, India, yes, see, uh, we have you. our own, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, SEBI and R SEBI mainly uh, helping us out. But yeah. what about US? So uh, US government, uh, US government, when you open an account, you get, you know, the broker takes an insurance of five lakh dollars. Tomorrow, let's say if the broker in US closes, the US government, you know, guarantees this five lakh dollars per account. So if Rajesh Joshi is opening an account, Rajesh Joshi has an insurance of 5 lakh provided by the federal government of US. So it is like when we, when we buy a car, we get the insurance. So I know that uh, the uh, the insurance is in my name. Uh, yeah, here you don't the pay car the premium. Here you don't it's pay a similar premium. kind of uh, exercise, is it? Yes. Here you don't pay the premium. The broker in US pays the government, uh, pays the premium to the government to insure all the accounts. And this is, you know, like, uh, I mean, this is very popular and everybody knows this. I mean, in, in US, everybody knows this. So this is the kind of uh, security that, you know, an investor has. Don't worry about that part where tomorrow US government tells get out of US. No, that will not happen because US is not China. You are, you know, dear, you know, you're dealing with a capitalist country where, you know, these things do not happen. So, so given this, points, you know, please put your you know, suggestions on the chat box. We're happy to, you know, we will be reading all those suggestions and then making a note and then coming out with a decision. So this is one of the second, uh, you know, I So presently, um, uh, Deepesh, uh, presently, yeah. uh, you as a advisor have not started this or you have started and you want to expand? I mean, no, no, no. I, I haven't started this because uh, for us, the compliance is very, you know, high. Unless, you know, I don't find any, you know, interest from you, from the investor's point, why should I get into this? And hence, I'm, you know, taking this, you know, opinion from all of you. The oh. compliance, the security deposit that, you know, we have to make there oh. is quite uh, hard and expensive. And hence, you know, we wanted to take your opinion. The idea here is the end. The end thing that we have to have in mind is that we wanted to give you a lot of options, you know, beyond what you are traditionally doing. Yeah, yeah. That point, although I think I am sure all the all the members here would agree that there would should be some more uh, options because I think the world is now widely opened. It's not like those earlier days. Pe kali India mein karna hai, kali pe karna kali. I think uh, definitely we need to explore. At least to that point, I am clear. So please put all this thing in your chat, in the chat box. Yes, no, I'm not sure. Whatever, just aapko jo man mein lagta, please put it. Uh, we'll have 10, 15, 15 seconds more. You can put it in the chat and then we'll move on to the next one. And all this, all this thing that I'm talking today, is you know more on the regulated you know regulated side. There's nothing which is unregulated. You know, and I wanted to bring this to all of you. Everything is regulated. When I say regulated, from the income tax point of view, from the FEMA rules point of view, 
from the you know securities exchange board point of view everything is regulated uh, is it that uh, you know, dipesh uh, from your side as a happy investor would you be tying up with some company in india maybe like motilal also i'm just giving an example huh? hmm. and can it will be rooted or it's like you directly so we wanted a... we want we will we are applying for a we will apply for a license directly with him so no no you don't have any this that this thing of offerings with motilal also for share kind you know, they don't have all these things they are good with indian stocks we wanted to explore beyond it. okay okay yeah so we are moving to the next uh, the final third one uh is pretty exciting investment in startups so happy investor will facilitate investments into growing startups so how this will happen is that this will be the personal investments into private startups to own a percentage of the business so let's say there is a startup called as an xyz private limited and this is coming out with some idea which you know make go big and this needs funding we will introduce xyz to you and if you like the idea you can write a check in this startup and own a percentage of this in this way the minimum investment that works is about 5 lakhs this is the maximum limit but from a risk management point of view we suggest not more than 10% of your financial asset you should own so if you have a network of two crores for example the maximum investment that you should be doing is about 20 lakh rupees and not more than that. this forms on the top of the pyramid you remember the financial pyramid holding period you know whenever there is an you can exit only when there is an exit option like a buyback ipo listing takeover merger like for example you know byju took over akash institute for 1 million dollar or 1 1 billion dollar And if you are invested in Akash Institute, then why you could you know take up uh, your share as well. So the exit option is not much unless you have these kind of events happen, like the company itself buy back, the company goes for a paid you know IPO listing. Like um, we had a Zomato listing in this, whereas Zomato was started in two thousand and eight or two thousand nine. So I'm talking about. Assume that we are in 2008, 2009. I am introducing Zomato to you, and you are, you know, you have invested in Zomato, but you had to wait it. You had to wait for about 10 to 12 years, you know, for your investment to you know, multiply. So it could be very long, extremely illiquid, cannot be sold whenever you wish. You you say that you know, sell and give my money. You may or may not have an option. it's very high risk investment could go to zero if the startup closes your money is gone very clear also possibility of a multi fold return in the long term so just to give an example there was an app called tiny owl and there was an app called zomato this was also into food delivery this was into food delivery if an investor had chosen tiny owl so this got closed four years back it couldn't withstand the competition Against Zomato completely, but if somebody had invested in Zomato, they would have made multiple runs. So this is an highly, you know, there's a high chances that people can do so. Our suggestion is that you know you should be including at least ten startups in your basket to reduce the risk of competition. You just buy one startup and then you cannot say that I'm investing in a startup. At least you should be having ten to fifteen startups under your basket to do. So out of fifteen, only you know two will be multi-bagger. Ten will close. Three will just, you know, return what, uh, what amount you have invested. That's how this, you know, thing works. So my question to you is that would you be interested in investing in startups, and would you want us to modify your startup? So, over to so you. So, Dipesh, uh, uh, yeah. Dipesh, uh, first time for me. Uh, I just wanted to know when you say fifteen uh, startups, you mean fifteen into five seventy five lakhs is what you want? Definitely, right? definitely, yes. At least for this, you know, your minimum net worth should be between you know about two crore rupees. Only then I would suggest this. Only then okay. I would suggest this. Not every because you know, if you are having only twenty lakh rupees with you, let's say if one of 
among this audience is a very young, young person and your network is 20 lakhs people, then I would never suggest that you know, put 5 lakhs people in a startup. Don't do this. No, only when you have a decent network, only then explore this, else don't explore this option. Okay. And this is basically, uh, you are buying the gray market, right? That's what No, no, no. This is not gray market. You are, um, let's say, for just give you, know, give you an example. Let's say my company, Happy Investor, you know, wants to do something big and we want funds. So I'm going to give ownership to you, let's say half percent ownership of my company, and I'm going to take five lakhs from you. And using your five lakh rupees, you know, I'm I'm going to chase you know, go into the market and expand my business. And if my business clicks, then you know my company's valuation increases, and hence your five lakh could also increase by to that uh, proportion. Okay. How do you uh, how do you research uh, you know such stocks? Or uh, you know startups. So, so we so here we will be tying up with you know various entities who will help to help us to connect with the startup and the startup who pitch you know their ideas to us. And if you like that idea, then you know you will go into another discussion, find more you know details, you know financials of that company, and then only if that idea excites you, if that idea is disruptive, then you write a check, and else you don't, else you don't believe. So you own that, are uh, you like a VC, or yes, yes. So you would be the VC for that? No, 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 ah, no, no. My job is just to connect you as an investor to a startup founder who needs money for expansion. Oh, okay. okay. You will not be writing any check in my name or my company's name. You will be writing check. So, see, my idea here is that, you know, apart from mutual funds, I believe that I should be giving you some more options to you. Some may suit your risk profile, some may not suit your risk profile. So, whoever is interested and wanted to know about this, yes, they can be, um, you know, put their you know, consent and then when there is an opportunity, such opportunity that arises, then the, it will be over a Zoom call where the startup founder would pitch his idea. And then if you like, you can you know, invest in the startup. So basically, you will play sort of a facilitator role, advisor role. Exactly. Like normally exactly. what you exactly. In almost exactly. all the three things that you have presented, right? Um, in the first thing which I spoke, mm-hmm. we are mm-hmm. already doing this. So we have already tied up with liquid loans. And you know we are doing this for the last year and a half years. Uh, some of the investors, uh, Mahesh, you have been investing here, so you must be doing this. So, you know, we already do. So, we are tied yeah. up with this. Awesome. This we are proposing to bring because it has a lot of compliances, has a lot of uh, you know, deposits that need to be made. So, we need to know your opinion on this. And on the third option, startup, with respect to startup, nothing much we have to do. So if there's a startup who wants funds, then you know, and if you put your consent, yes, you want to explore this opportunity. I'll invite you to listen to the pitch. If you find it uh, worth worthy to invest, then you know we can make an investment. Okay. So please put your uh, opinions and feedbacks on the chat. So whether you like, not like, not fit for me, I don't want to do. So there's nothing wrong or right. Mm-hmm. You wanted to know a collective general opinion on how do you feel you know, these types of um, investment options. And I would you know, encourage everybody to participate as the you know, purpose of this meet would get defeated. So basically, among all the investments, uh, Deepesh, this would be the most riskiest. And of course, yes. it also returns could be... Uh, yes, 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 yes. And remember, all these investments are not a replacement for your traditional mutual funds, PPL, yeah, 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 yeah. and other... You know, These are just additional ones. These right? are just additional ones. This come at the top of the pyramid, not at the bottom of the pyramid. That's why you are talking about not more than. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so from a risk management point of view, I see people get excited and they say that you know, put a mutual fund nikal ke usme dal. So I, you know, the purpose of this would get uh, defeated. But we shouldn't be doing that. Fair, fair. Yeah. 
So anybody else participating, please uh, put your suggestions in the chats. So uh, Deepesh, for uh, the third one, you yes. are not accountable in any way, right? You just introduce and that's yes, it. Yes, I'm not, I'm not accountable in any way. If you lose your money, I'm not accountable. If you get you know, 20x return, you know, I, I'll not ask any share from this. So it's up to you. I'm just trying to you know, facilitate this. Yeah, no, why, why I asked is not about the money, but uh, the risk involved. So you, huh. you are going to tie up with some entities who will introduce certain people to who yes. is and if you're yes. interested, you go and ask. Yes, yes. yes. that's it. Yes, that's it. We would be receiving a small fee of about 0.7 percentage from this entity when you make an investment. That's all. So the idea here is not for us to earn this funds and percentage. That's not the idea. The intent is to you know, give you some options on investments beyond this. Okay. So then we'll go with the final agenda. Hey, I hope everybody has put their opinion on the chat. Then uh, I yeah. have uh, one point. And yeah. now that's uh, about the startups. Now, we say some mm. matured industries are there mm. who are running for a time and they are looking for an investor. Mm. Uh, who can, I, they might be looking for an investor from the investment perspective and maybe some management input perspective. Mm. If that option is open, uh, is there somebody? I mean, at least you can, uh, you know, put it sure, in. Sure, sure. 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 But may, might be not the part of this whole presentation, mm. but just I'm telling you that. Sure, sure. Um, Shilta, please note down. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. okay, fine. Then next, we move on to the last uh, agenda uh, that uh, app to track your investments. Uh, so let me just uh, be very upfront. Um, so far, we have progressed on your investments by you know, giving you the updates on your investments on a quarterly basis, annually, and as on when you request, you request your portfolio position, you know, we would send you by email, WhatsApp, and uh, you know, you end up uh, checking your English. The idea behind that was, you know, we wanted, you know, this has worked out well from an investment philosophy point of view, because we are trying to focus in managing your behavior and not to constantly look where the market is. Today, you know, you are all you know, with me. Some of you are with me five years. Some of you are with me ten years. Some of you are with me thirteen years of investing. Whereas the industry data says, the mutual fund industry data says, an average investor exits after two years. And you all have been investing beyond this country's average number. One of the reasons why you have stood with your investment for a long period of time and you have made money is because. You know, we indirectly controlled your behavior where, you know, we never gave you an option where, you know, you could easily check your investment when markets are bad. Say in March 2020, your investment was down by 40 percentage. Probably you wouldn't have known this. If you had an app with you, you would have known, you would have seen that, oh, your one crore has become about 65 or 60 lakh rupees. That was the best time to put money, but if you had checked your portfolio on that day, you wouldn't have put your money on top of it. This was the behavior management that we were doing till today to ensure that your wealth grows. And now what we, we thought was that now you're all matured enough that you know, you're not panic during market falls and uh, you know, you not also get excited during market falls. We thought of you know introducing an app to you you know, wherein, you know, we take a more holistic view. Uh, the, so the app would have this following facilities. You know, view your mutual funds with how your monthly SIP is going. Only tracking, no transactions. All your financial goals with dates and requirements and percentage achieved. Your life and health insurance details covered with annual premium details. And all these investments which I talked about, investment in liquid loans, uh, international equity, startups, you know, you know this can facilitate also, this can also facilitate in the app. So the question to you is that, do you think app is a good idea? Would you, would you consider using it? Do you feel, you know, the current model there, you know, the current model of what we run is sufficient or do you feel that, you know, happy investors should have an app 
uh, you know, on your own and then you should have a control and check on your image. What do you think? So would like to know your uh, answers and opinions on that. Maybe you can answer saying that app is not required. App is required. Like that you, you can just uh, put your suggestions on this. I'll tell you the pitfall, the disadvantage is that if you have an app, definitely during market call, you will get panic and uh, you, know, <laughs> you know what would happen. That's the disadvantage. The advantage is that you, know, you can have a holistic view of your you know, portfolio on your phone. That's the, that's the only advantage and disadvantage of having an app and not having yeah, yeah. It's a good idea, but it will uh, uh, the one-to-one -one approach. What it is there will uh, reduce very much. One-to-one -one approach will always be there, sir. My office is open, and uh, my office is open for you to walk in and have a discussion. This app is not an um, wall between you know me and you. Okay. That's that's never the idea. The one-to-one -one approach will always be there. It will always remain. The way we are currently, you know, you know, interacting with you. So based on this, please uh, uh, put your opinions. And somebody had raised their hand. I just saw if you wanted to talk or put your points. Hi, Deepesh. Yeah, hi, Darshan. Yeah. Hi, hi. Uh, just uh, had a quick question. Yeah. Uh, the app, uh, so now we uh, get a quarterly update or, you know, when I yes. request you for yes. an update yes. uh, on WhatsApp or a call. Yeah. Uh, it's prompt and quick that you send me my portfolio and my details regarding the investments made. Yes. But uh, so on the app, also, ah. will it be a, a, a quarterly based or a monthly based? No, no. You or, open you know, the app, Rat yeah. 11, 11 p.m. you open your app, you will check, you will see your investment amount is so much and the current value is so much and the return is so much. It's a live app. It's, 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 it's a real time thing, right? Um, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So, right. which, uh, right. whether you like or dislike, uh, ah. actually, the today, if you look at our life, life, I'm not even talking about financial, ah. almost everything, you start your morning walk, your app is controlling you. Yes. You start your day by driving, your Google map is controlling you. So, no. I think even though, yes, your anxiety levels might go up and down as the market goes up and down, or the, but I think uh, being uh, real time is the only way to go, uh, is my perception. Okay. So I think uh, app, uh, because let, let's say for example, Deepesh, last time when you updated me, let's say quarterly. Yeah. Okay. Now the problem with that is I don't even remember now. Where is it? And today to go back to that email or search that email and check up on that or might be even log in with the browser and all that. Thoda, uh, to me, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the, like, in, that is what we are doing that managing that investor behavior. Mm. So let's say from that day to today, if market was down by 30 percentage, mm. we did not want you to check this. That's it. And that has been the you know secret sauce of you know you creating the wealth. Mm. And that's what even studies say is in US that uh, you know there's an um, study done by Fidelity which says that the richest investors are those investors who have never seen that money. What it means is that you know people who have died and then their son and grandson when they went to fidelity investments to check their investment, you know, to check what is the value. Hundred dollars invested has become about two lakh dollars. Mm. Mm. But the people who don't check their investment portfolios, mm. from a psychological point of view, they end up getting higher returns. <laughs> but uh, it could also I not look... be the same case every time. The page like. Maybe some in some cases it might have uh, return given a good returns, but not in every case. So it I think it will be more transparent uh, if we are having an app so that we can have the live updates also and our investments. And if if we want to change any of the funds, so that feasibility will also be there. No, no, no. You can't do any transactions. Okay, we will not have any control no, no, over no, that. No, 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 no. That is where okay. you know the issue comes. You know where you know people have an app. There are apps who give you transaction facility as well, where, you know, you can oh. go and change your funds. So do you, you know, I don't purposes. want you to take the medicine on your own. I'm very yeah, yeah. Okay. It's only It's only viewing purpose. The, the yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Then, Which makes sense. I think that, that's perfectly fine. This should not be any yeah. transaction allowed. Yeah. Okay. Dipesh, uh, yeah. what uh, I think is, 
Yes. Uh, now you uh, like uh, Times of India has the ET money app, right? Yes. So on that I can also make transaction and stuff like that. But yes. uh, usually that's v- very rare that I do that. But so mm-hmm. on the contrary, if I'm seeing my uh, app, say not even on the daily basis, if say probably weekly once or twice I open it, mm-hmm. if I see that something has given me a better return and something is a good, uh, uh, you know, value addition from your side, mm-hmm. I would rather if I have some surplus money left or if I have some more to invest, I'd be more uh, happy to do it. Then calling you and you know asking mm-hmm. you you know Deepesh how's it doing what do I do so even if I track it I might also be if you say the negative is that I see uh, the investment crashing and I have an anxiety or something like that also if something is going up I'd be more than happy to put in some more money and uh, mm-hmm. you know make it a better portfolio. I got I got your point. Darshan, I got your point. But the idea here is that you know let's say you saw the app and then your investment of. 2 lakh has become 4 lakh and you say that you know if since the returns are higher i'll put more money the idea is that you know i don't want you to put money on your own you should tell us that you have so much of money and we'll yes yes to yeah exactly i here i'm not asking you to do any transactions i just want this for a purpose of clarity of what i'm viewing okay. where i put okay. my money where ah. it's clocked in where it's safe that's it there's no i don't even want to transact there but i'm just saying that it becomes uh, more appealing to me uh, I think that's my personal opinion, but I think that if I would see that something's lucrative, I would want to put in more money in that. Uh, even if there's a, a slight bit of risk factor involved. And obviously, after I see that, I can always get back to you on a call and say that, Deepesh, I've seen this today and uh, SSI increase why. What do you think? Should we put in more? Should we put in? Should we do something? So, you know, uh, you as pooling in my investments also can uh, probably pull in more. I can put in more. And if I feel that something's going low or down, I can always ask you for an opinion. So there, uh, it becomes very easy because I'm not a, see, honestly, I'm not a person who's going to go back every month and see my emails because, we, so for example, you are doing my uh, five uh, SIPs a month. So I, will, I won't check those five SIPs email individually. I just rely on your uh, monthly or the quarterly uh, tabulated sheet that yes. you give me. Yes. So now with the app, it becomes very easy for me that, okay, these are my SIPs. This is my investment that had been done, the, the surplus investment that I had done. And so stuff like that. So it becomes quite easy to access is what I think. Because sure, 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 uh, even, sure, sure. yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, we're just uh, taking this opinion. Anyways, this is again a recorded call. So we'll again be you know going and uh, listening to what you have told. So yes, we got the point that yes, you're more or less looking for an app which would give you and 24 bus are an access. Yeah. So this is not something but like when I'm telling you that, you know, uh, 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 what is, uh, how we're doing it, the the current way is not, uh, you know, good enough. It is, it is perfect. Like it is very smooth. Your WhatsApp responses, your calls to any of your uh, people, it's all smooth. But I just think that the process of this app would just make it a little more easier, convenient sure. for us. Even if it like, you know, obviously it'll take time for you to build on it and stuff like uh-huh. that. But once it is done, I think it it becomes more uh, easier for us as an approach to have. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. I also agree with that point here. Yeah. And then... Wish, last... Actually, yeah. uh, uh, your uh, uh, this thing, investor behavior, management of investor behavior hmm. uh, may take some uh, this thing. But actually, uh, the, this will create anxiety and it will become a share market type way whenever you are seeing your investments are going up, whenever you are seeing your investments are going down, you just said now, the one who becomes richer, who doesn't see the uh, prices. So I think it will create anxiety in your uh, time. Yes, I mean, that, that's, the, that's my biggest worry. See, ultimately, you know, me and my team is working to create wealth for you. And, you know, we wanted to do in a very unique and different way of, you know, managing your behavior and then creating that for you. You know, giving an app will simplify a lot of things for us in terms of, you know, any service request. You will no more call us and ask us your investment portfolio, you know. So, you know, my cost, my resources, you know, would get reduced. You know, that's the advantage for me. But I'm looking from your wealth creation point of view and hence, uh, you know, wanted to take decisions in a much more careful manner rather than just introducing something for the sake of it. You know, introducing something for you. For the, oh, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. the investment, uh, investor, uh, uh, creating wealth for the investor, uh, the goal will be defeated somewhere there because anxiety will not allow you to create the wealth. 
Exactly. Yes. Yes. Because I have never been into that. We, uh, whenever the market goes up, we should uh, invest. Uh, we should uh, withdraw. Or uh, whenever the market crashes, we should invest. We have been uh, guided by you, and I have been taken the taking that guidance only. I think it'll be a mixed feeling for everyone, and 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 you, you said as you rightly said, Deepesh, what would be good in you know let's say if, if you launch the app, we can have a you know a, a quick call after six months or a quarter. How's it doing for everyone? Just to yes. understand everyone's habit, right? So yes. uh, I completely understand what Nirmal is saying that you know obviously it just creates anxiety because right now the the, the, the right now the the format that you're following obviously at times I, I think someone just mentioned Nareesh uh, if I'm not wrong. That you know, sometimes when you send yeah. over, over an email, uh, we tend to you know not read the emails, and obviously we find it a little bit uh, you know like in, in in reading those emails, going back and and see what's what's going on. But having an app, obviously, it's right there in front of you. Uh, so yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting uh, yes. to see our own habits. Uh, any any charges associated with the nothing, nothing. I mean nothing, nothing. Don't no, there's no charges, nothing. Yeah. Well, as a aside. Maybe maybe people who get very anxious should simply not install the apps. <laughs> I can't control them. Yeah. <laughs> Easier said than done. Yes. <laughs> so then, finally, the last point is that before we end, we'll just end in another five minutes. Any open feedback? Uh, you know, if you have anything, uh, you know, for us, you put it in the chat box. You know, we will take all your feedbacks and uh, action on that. You know, before we end this, please uh, put your feedback in the chat box on anything, whether it's today's uh, agenda or anything that you feel something is not uh, right from our end or something we should improve or uh, anything that you wanted to express. Please feel free to do this. Feel very exciting updates, uh, Deepesh. Very exciting. Thanks. Pardon me. Very exciting updates, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've put my feedback anyways on the chat. Please, so thanks. Please, please, please. Thanks. Yeah. Dipesh, I wanted to ask. Please, yes, Aparna. Ask about investing in crypto and Bitcoin. Crypto and Bitcoin, um, we consciously did not add this here because till the time it is not regulated, you know, I have that kind of feeling that any product, if it is not supported by a government organization like an RBI, SEBI, or Ministry of Finance, that product will not actually pick up. Food. That's for sure. I mean, this is how you know I believe because you know you see every day RBI issues a statement that you know we are not comfortable with the way crypto markets is going, even though they launched a case in the Supreme Court that you know crypto should be made illegal, but they launched. So no, crypto is legal, but since there is no regulatory support, I would say don't venture into that. But if you still wanted to go ahead, don't put more than 5% of your net worth in crypto. Don't get uh, excited and don't put beyond this percentage in case if you really want to go ahead. Yeah. Yes, but you, again, if you see, I mean, uh, Bitcoin was at $63,000 about four months back. Now it's about $45,000 or something like that. It's too volatile. And I believe how can a currency have an um, asset attached to it? That is my opinion. I could be wrong. Tomorrow Bitcoin can be $6.3 lakh dollars as well. I could be wrong. So just giving an advice that don't go beyond this in case it wants to go ahead. Deepesh, with uh, regard to the international investments that you were talking about, I uh, kind of missed the initial bit because I joined in late. I just wanted to know what uh, kind of what what amount is uh, the base amount that you know would be uh, required or say um, recommended by you. Base is zero. Maximum mm -hmm. should be ten percent of your financial net worth. Okay. All right. Yeah. And so, uh, who decide? I mean, how do you decide on what you have to put the money on? Like, what are you going to bank it on? As in, uh, what will be those products? So, there are the... three products. One is there are, you know, fixed portfolios, fixed mm -hmm. themed portfolios, mm -hmm. wherein, you know, you can invest in cloud, basket of cloud computing companies, you know, basket of pharma stocks in US, something like that. Then, okay. uh, then you can directly buy stocks of Netflix, Amazon, Facebook. 
Okay. So you, you will be having, uh, you know, these kind of options. And the third one is there are diversified portfolios which which are listed on the broker's uh, you know, listing. You know, wherein you buy a basket of top ten stocks of U.S. market, top fifty stocks of U.S. market, something like that. So these, mm-hmm. these are the three options that you could be you know, you, you can have. All right. Right. So another two three minutes before we end this meet. Please put your chat and uh, your opinions on what do you feel. We'll be obliged to take on your class. And so we are just coming at the end of the meeting. And anything else that anybody wanted to share, please, uh, please put that. So I think uh, maybe we can end this meet. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you once again. So the idea here is the idea here is you know we wanted to explore what's uh, possible that you know, we could give to all of you. We wanted to be much ahead of the curve, and hence you know this meeting was organized today to get your opinion. And thank you so much. You all can log off. Thank, thank you, Dipesh. Thanks a lot for this. for your time. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Dipesh. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dipesh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.